Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is currently Friday afternoon. It is around 6.45 at night, I guess in the evening, 6.45 Friday evening. And I am home from work. Um, I am on call tonight slash this weekend. I got my pager. So I thought I would vlog a weekend on call for you guys and just show you what it's like, what my experience is, it, experience is, kind of the schedule, everything like that. We do home call at my program, meaning that I can be home when there's nothing to do at the hospital, but it also means I hold the pager from Friday night until Monday morning um, by myself. Like, not by myself. There's always a chief backup, um, but I am like the primary person holding the pager. So all weekend, anything that happens is me. So... It's a little stressful because you never know what's gonna happen in those 72 hours and it's hard to like fully relax, but I am going to show you guys what, it, what it's all like. I have some notes to finish up and some work to do on like the social media for my program. So I'm gonna do that and kind of chill and maybe listen to a book on tape or something while I'm writing notes and doing that. And then I will maybe go for a walk because it's absolutely gorgeous out tonight and I think I need some walking around time outside. So I am currently in bed. It's 8.51. I'm just looking over the patients. I'm looking over our primary patients, um, just making sure like their labs are okay, uh, their vitals are okay, making sure that they're all stable. And then I'm also... Uh, <laughs> Kind of like a nervous habit but i look over like the ed launch pad and just see like why everyone's there just so i can see if there's anything that urology might need to be called in for um i think it's just kind of like a way to a like relax if there's like nothing that i think i may be called in for i can kind of sleep a little easier or b mentally prepare if there is something that maybe i can be called in for i can maybe look it up see if i'll be called it you know it just helps me to prepare and figure out what type of night i'm going to have so i'm hoping that tonight stays relatively quiet um i probably just jinxed myself by saying that but uh, I had a bad night this past week, so I, I'm pretty tired, and so I would like to get a full night of sleep. And also, I'm trying to Peloton with my chief at 5.45 tomorrow morning. So hopefully I will make that. We will see. Um, but I'm going to go to bed. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> well, I jinxed myself because I have now been called about two consults, the first of which I did not have to see, and the second of which I'm going in to see right now. So... It's about 10.45, um, so not much long after I talked to you guys before, but such is life. So I'm going to try and go in, see this person. I hope there's nothing to do, um, but we will see, and um, and we'll see. And then I will either have come back home and hopefully go to sleep or stay at the hospital all night, but we'll see. Um, we'll see if I make it to my Peloton tomorrow, seeing as I, it's in like six hours. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. But this is the life. This is the life on call. <laughs> at least it's not like 2 a.m. At least it's like 11 p.m. and it's still semi-reasonable time. Um, but I definitely jinxed it. I also got a new pair of stoggles because my old ones broke. Um, but I am obsessed with these. I really like them. I like without them have been forgetting to bring eye protection places because I'm not used to like, I always have these on or like have them on my head. And so I'm not used to like having to think about bringing eye protection. And then I've run into like multiple times where I like have to hold things up because I need to go get eye protection. So it's super nice to have these um, again. And I love them. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's 1.20 in the morning. I just got home and then literally got paged that I have a patient coming to the ED in like an hour and 15 minutes that was accepted my, my attending. So I'm home now. I'm going to try and sleep for like an hour and then I'll have to go back in, I guess, once they page me about that. So that's lovely. Um, so definitely not pelotoning tomorrow. This has turned into kind of a crazier night than 
expected, which is unfortunate, but hopefully we'll get everything done and then it won't be too bad tomorrow. I don't know. I can't say that anymore because I'm jinxing it. But yeah, this is the reality of on call is that sometimes a home call is not real home call, which is unfortunate. Good morning. It is like 7.30 in the morning. I woke up, did not Peloton. I'm just making myself some food. I have some Honey Nut Cheerios and I'm getting ready to go into the hospital. Um, got a bunch of calls last night, just like a lot of stuff going on last night, um, but that's okay. That's like what happens um, and I definitely jinxed myself. So we will see how today goes. I'm hoping to be able to round, write notes. I think we have some discharges to do. And then um, hopefully come home and be able to like take a nap and exercise because I've really been wanting to do that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. I need to like wake up a little bit. <laughs> Hello, it is around 3 p.m. I am leaving, obviously, and gonna go home. I evening, I discharged a bunch of people, and then I evening rounded on the people who are staying, who I thought I needed to see, and now I am just about gonna go home. I need to eat lunch, because I haven't eaten lunch, and I'm very hungry, and I'm going to try to do a Peloton, and then I may have to take a nap, because I'm pretty sleepy, Hopefully, I'm not even gonna say it, not even gonna say it, not gonna jinx myself, just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do and not jinx myself. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I have nothing else to add. I ate part of a kale salad that I already ate and then I'm gonna eat these eggs and have my sparkling water for a snack, or for, sorry, for lunch, and then and then the plan is to Peloton. Um, once I digest a little bit, I think Jenna and Jenna, my chief might join me. We were supposed to do it this morning and then both of us had kind of crazy nights, like me going into the hospital where I am. And then she has to cover multiple hospitals cause she's the chief. And so the other hospital was busy too. So it was just a busy night for both of us. So we didn't make it to our class this morning, but I'm hoping that we do it this afternoon. Cause I really do want to try and work out. Um, because I think that'll just make me feel better. It always helps with my anxiety, especially on call weekends when I actually do have a lot of anxiety. Just holding the pager all day makes me very anxious because you never know what's gonna come in. So it helps me to like calm down if I do a little bit of exercise. So I'm really gonna try and get that done and then we'll see if, I don't know if I wanna like take a nap or if I just wanna power through. I might try to go to the plant store. We'll see, I mean, I can't, we'll see. I've made it on the Peloton. Pager is in spot of uh, glory. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this, which might kill me, but I'm gonna try. Hello. <laughs> Did it. That was very hard. I haven't done an Olivia class in a while. Very hard, but pretty proud of myself. Uh, they, they're much stronger because they're parallel. That's why they get so they're in reunions. No, we absolutely All right, well, not. we have to invite some of them. I just had a very nice dinner with my parents. Um, it was very relaxing and also great because I have literally zero food. My mom went grocery shopping for me this week and I ate it. And now I now have zero food again and have no energy or desire to go to the grocery store. So I'm thinking of buying a meal kit, like a meal program, you know, that bring, that sends you food. Uh, but I have not, I was thinking about Saqqara. So if any of you like, have any ones that you like, please let me know. Anyway, I'm off topic. I went out to dinner with my parents. It was very nice. It is 8.30ish now, and I'm sitting in my bed watching my comfort show, which is Psych. And just looking through the patients um, and then I do my ED stock and then I'm gonna try and get some sleep because I'm very tired uh, so I'll let you guys know how the night goes good morning it is around 7 in the morning I slept through the night 
I am very excited about it. I got zero pages overnight, so I feel refreshed. I was going to wake up in Peloton this morning with my chief, but then she was like, oh, I need to sleep a little bit more. And I was like, I feel ya. I will also sleep a little bit more. We can always Peloton in the afternoon if we're, there's time, but sleep is like the most important thing, especially when you go a night, like without a really good night's sleep, it really catches up with you. So. We both got a little more sleep. It's 7 a.m. We're rounding at 8.30. I'm gonna try and go pick up some bagels for us before we go. So I'm just gonna change really quickly and then head out the door. Um, I'm so happy I slept through the night. Like it makes such a difference. This is the best bagels place in Washington, D.C. Cash only, so freaking good. Hello, it is around 11 o'clock. I am obviously not at work anymore. I'm at my parents' house. Um, we just went in, rounded, no calls overnight. I think I already said that, but it just feels great. So went in, rounded, and basically wrote notes. And then I'm now at home, gonna take the doggy for a walk. And I really wanna try and go to the plant store. Um, we'll see, we'll see, but so far, so good on a Sunday. made it back from the plant store, which I showed you guys some clips of, and then I'm incredibly hungry, so had to immediately eat lunch, like I was getting lightheaded. But I bought this really cute pot and orchid. It's gonna be the centerpiece on my table. We also have a bouquet, lots of flowers, and then I'll show you guys what I got for the backyard that I'm gonna plant in a minute, but I have got to eat because I'm starving. I already ate my leftover pasta from last night, and then I just heated up some frozen green beans because I haven't had vegetables in a, what feels like a long time, although I know I had some last night. I used the leftover like Parmesan garlic oil from my pasta, so that'll be yummy. And it is about two o'clock right now, so I'm going to eat this and then plant my plants and then we'll see. I want to try and take a nap if possible, but we will see, we will see but I'm currently just gonna lay on my couch and eat my green beans. Hello, I have awoken from my like now two hour nap. Well, it was a nap slash lounge. I napped and then I lounged for a little bit and I'm just going to clean up a little bit in the house. Just gonna clean up a little bit in the house and do some dishes and then plant my plants outside. I'll show you what I got from the plant store in terms of outdoor plants. Hold on one sec. Okay, so here is what I got from the store. I got this lavender plant. Oh, there's already a bumblebee. This lavender plant, which I'm gonna plant in the ground, I think maybe there or here. I'm not sure. This is my super dead hydrangea that is not, I don't think actually dead. I think it'll be revived. See, it has all these new leaves. Um, I just didn't water it for long enough. All my plants are really droopy. I need to do a good water sesh, but I think I'm going to plant this there. Then I have this empty like pot thing that I'm going to put these three. This is my new favorite flower. I'm obsessed with these. They're so beautiful. So I'm going to plant those in there. Then I'm gonna give everything a good water. Smells so good. A little close to that, but that's okay because I'm gonna fill in all of this stuff eventually. So could have put it there, could get another one. But so far, looking good. 
is my lime tree. I have a little baby lime. My baby lime right there. Yeah, everything needs a good water. Had to stop my watering because I got a page, but luckily it wasn't something that I had to go in for. I could just answer it over the phone. So that's pretty good. Um, I think I just have to write a quick like note for this. Anytime I talk on the phone with anyone or patient or anything, I write a note um, just to cover my butt, to cover other people's butts, to get the communication out there, to be super clear on communication. I just think it's a good habit to do. So I write a note for almost every phone conversation I have, unless it's like something simple like, oh, can you just order this? And then I'll, I won't write a note. But um, for almost every phone conversation I have, or if I'm giving clinical guidance, I always write a note. So um, that's that. And yeah, so I'm just gonna write this note quickly, finish watering my plants and try to do some vacuuming. Well, literally immediately after I vlogged that I got a call that I didn't have to come in for, I got another call from the ED that I do have to come in for, which is fine. I was expecting actually to come in because I left pretty early. So I was hoping it wouldn't happen, but it's okay. I still got my nap in. I at least wiped down my kitchen counters. So got a little bit of cleaning in, but I am about to park at the hospital and go see a patient. Um, so yeah, that is kind of how it goes with home call. You are never really knowing when your night is over or when you can relax. Good morning. It is Monday morning. Um, I ended up having to stay in the hospital until around 11 o'clock last night because we ended up having to take a patient to the operating room. So that obviously made me get home a little later. Um, so I'm a little sleepy, but luckily I got no calls overnight. So that's great. I kept like dreaming that I got calls and then I kept waking up and like checking, but then I never did. It was like very odd. Um, but yeah, that ended up being okay. So I would rather that than like me having to go in at 3 a.m. So that was that. Um, Monday, I go on vacation later this week. I am so excited and I'm not on call tonight. So I'm also very excited for that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you got a glimpse into like what a weekend on call is like for home call. Um, overall, I would say it wasn't a great weekend in terms of like calls. It wasn't terrible. So uh, it would have been great except for last night. So you know, it's all a learning opportunity is what I like to say. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.